I just don't buy into the whole karma thing. I think it's just random, you know? Some people get sick and sadly they, they die. You can't save everyone. You don't know what you're talking about. I lost my little girl, Warren, and she never hurt anyone. Tony, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. Grace, she'd be 11 by now. Same age as Leah, Steve's kid. I see her walking around here sometimes. I think of her. I mean, uh, how'd you ever get over something like that? I'm not sure I even have. You know, I was the one that found her. Little thing. So small. I tried to resuscitate her. They teach you that in any nail class. Don't think you're ever going to use it. And here's me banging on about something that might happen. For a time, I was as angry as you are. And life's just sort of happening around me. I remember chopping this onion, getting ready for dinner or something, and I'm, I'm slicing and dicing like I do in my everyday work in life, and I, I had a moment of thinking, what am I doing? Why am I wasting my time, my life, on this stupid poxy onion? It didn't make any sense to me. An onion? <laughs> I mean, I've just lost my child in what seemed like the cruelest way possible, and suddenly this everyday normal thing just seemed so, so alien. It's like when you say a word and you panic because it's not really a word. It's like your brain cuts out and stops you from understanding. And how are you now? You know, we're chopping onions. <laughs> you know, I, I sobbed my heart out for her and cried into my pillow at night. Gut wrenching, deep agony. So I do know what I'm talking about. I know. I know. Did you... Did you ever pray? Of course. I'm not sure who to or what I even believe about all that, but yeah, all the time. There is nothing that I can do. And I hate it. Tell them that you're going to look after them. That you're going to protect them. But how can you protect someone on an operating table? You know, you can't. You just, you just make sure you're there when they wake up and you, you help them through the recovery. But what if she doesn't wake up, Tony? In that case, you knock on my door and we'll talk again. In the meantime, just... Try and focus on what you got. You know, two healthy kids and a woman you love. Just try and put it all into perspective. Don't go taking it out on random guys in the back of your van, even if they have been blackmailing you. It's not random, Warren. <laughs>